Today I decided to have some fun with FreeCAD and design and print a custom cleaner. The idea is straightforward. Place a handful of dirty items in the top, in this case tomatoes. Run water through the pipe under the tap and let the vortex wash everything. Of course PLA isn't food safe, this is just a prototype. I thought it would be useful to walk through the design steps and operations used to create this model. We're also showcasing some of the new features coming in FreeCAD 1.1. The model was built in the part design. I created a revolve profile to capture its overall shape. The pipe needs to connect to the internal void, which we can achieve by first creating an additive pipe and then a subtractive one. Both use the same path with a separate inner and outer profile ensuring the path enters the center of the main revolve body. If we simply revolve the body with a hollow inside and then try to add the pipe, the operation would cut into the side wall and leave a piece of the pipe protruding into the void. To avoid this, I first created the outer revolve as a solid body without a void before tackling the pipe. The original profile acted as a master sketch, allowing me to create another sketch, carbon copying the master, and converting the unneeded geometry to construction. In FreeCAD 1.1, this workflow becomes even easier, thanks to the improved Import External Geometry tool. It now lets you import geometry directly as construction or defining geometry, so you only bring in what you need after which extra geometry can be added if needed. Behavior of this feature can be controlled by the settings available in FreeCAD's preferences. The pipe path was sketched on a datum plane. Though sketch placement alone would have worked, I found having a physical plane helped me position and rotate the object into the correct position. FreeCAD version 1.1 helps here too. With options to show the plane and axis alignment, which will probably mean that this would be enough for my use case. When the additive pipe is applied, the excess material merges seamlessly with the revolve. We can now create another sketch, borrowing geometry from the master to create the inner revolve profile. This time using the subtractive version of the revolve operation, the groove. The subtractive pipe following the same path as the additive one, but using a smaller circular profile for the inner part, hollows out the pipe and into the void. If this had been built with a single revolve from the start, the pipe operation would have interfered with the void and we would still have to create it in a groove profile to subtract the volume. If this didn't include a slight offset to shave a small amount off the inner walls, as well as removing the excess pipe, we would have also been left with an extra face on the inner surface. This isn't an issue when 3D printing, but it complicates filleting because there are now two faces that could interfere with each other. The workflow would also require more steps overall. The final step was adding drainage holes. A sketch was attached to the base plane, but it also could have been attached to the revolve profile itself. Again, in FreeCAD 1.1, the sketch visualization settings makes using the advanced attachment modes more straightforward. Aligning the origin and the axes with the inner profile geometry. A pocket and a polar pattern creates the holes. followed by a few fillets to blend everything together. The model was then exported, sliced and 3D printed at a reduced quality and size for a quick working prototype. So this was a quick overview of the model. Hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal 
at paypal.com forward slash paypal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.